Cholero jasna, ty przyjdzie, zabrały kiełbasę, ukradły psy kiełbasę, łola Boga, łola Boga, co się dzieje, łola Boga. Dzień dobry, witam wszystkich rodaków ze starego kraju, z nowego kraju, Maksymiliana Macutkiewiczowa tutaj. Dzisiaj będziemy robić szybki bigos. Hej, Metal Chef Mad Max, I was speaking my... Uh, Native tongue, a little bit crazy way, of course, because I'm metal chef Mad Max. I wear my babushka, my red glasses. What you guys think? Oh, of course, I got the t-shirt, say Poznań. That's one of the oh, beautiful cities in Poland. I got accused I don't cook much Polish food. I like Polish food, but I prefer a little bit far east, you know, cuisine. But anyway, I wear my babushka. And I will show you how to deal with the leftovers and do some bigos. The hunters stew. It's made in Poland usually in the winter time, but in the summertime, if you wanna get gassy from sauerkraut and cabbage, that's the show for you. Okay, let's go do it. I'll take the glasses off, I'll dress up for occasion. And let's go do it. In the meantime, when you guys doing stuff, that's for other so, again, you know, I'm using wok, I chopped up some smoked sausage, some leftovers, roast, I got pork roast, beef roast, whatever you got, you know, any leftovers, or oh, you can cube up some pork and beef and add it, saute it off, I think I'm gonna add some, even this, cat food, oh, probably. Nah, nah, it's a little bit, uh, yeah, salmon. Salmon will be not good with it. No seafood with this. Alright, so I got this meat mixture. I browned up here, like I said, sausage, smoked sausage, some uh, leftovers of uh, pork roast, some leftovers of beef roast. I had some uh, marapo. Oh, son of a bitch! I almost burned my toe again. I uh, add some marapois too, you know, to light it up a little bit, add a little bit of fiber, because the sauerkraut it's not fi fibrous. All right, I drain the juice from sauerkraut. It's excess salt. It's uh, excess salt. It's gone. If it's salty, you rinse it. This particular, it's not salty, so we're not rinsing it. And I like to. Half and half. Sauerkraut. Sauerkraut I'll mix in. Okay. With my meat mixture. And I will add bay leaves. It's traditional add to this dish. I will add all spice. Not old spice, the old man. Cologne, all spice, all spice, you pricks. Ciele angielskie, liść laurowy. I will add some Polish stuff into it. And then, I got some canned tomatoes. I'm gonna smooth it up a little bit with my fingers. So I got the bloody fingers, baby. Like psycho grandma from Poland. My grandma, she was a good girl, good old lady, take me to church, if I didn't behave, she spanked me outside, but she loves me much. Rest in peace, grandma. All my grandparents, you know, all my folks. And added to the mixture, wash your bloody hands, and you know, the recipe called for uh, dry Mushrooms, porcini preferably, or other, you know, European dry mushrooms. I don't have it. I got shiitake mushrooms, dry shiitake, so I'm gonna use those babies, because I heard when you add shiitake, you get potential to get sakakaki. I don't know if it's true or not, but that was in Japanese. Uh, yeah, kind of. I'll add a little bit of the dry mushrooms, as that woodsy earthy flavor to it 
and of course cracked black pepper czarny pieprz tylko pieprz no i szafranno moja mościa panno that's all the same for Poland about the using lots of spices to make the food taste good okay and let's go mix this baby up and some people like to add some sweetness to it they will add uh, who ate my fucking prunes again well, that's unfortunate I don't have any prunes for sweetness I'll add a couple dry figs you're supposed to add dry prunes from heaven so the figs goes in it will do the release the sweetness to balance off the sourness of sauerkraut and when it's mixed in beginning of the cooking process looks like that I'm using wok because I am metal chef Melbex I like to mix and do fusion so when this is mixed and on top of it I'm gonna put the fresh cabbage okay I like to do half and half so fresh cabbage add again a little bit sweetness and we'll reduce uh, salt from all the salty ingredients because sausage is salty, sauerkraut is salty, you know. So let's go. Oh, fuck. Ah. Stuff falling inside. Some people add a little bit honey. It's up to you. To add a little bit body, I got my secret ingredients. I'll splatter for right now a little bit. Ketchup. American touch. See? We do infusion. Polish ingredients, Polish uh, dish, oriental uh, cooking vessel, and American stable. Staple. Staple. And I will add a little bit for color sweet paprika on the top of it. And in a very, very low heat. You start, you cover up. I don't add any stock, some people add a little bit stock, but you know, cabbage and uh, sauerkraut, all the meats, they will release the natural juices, and you want it very slow process. I'm going to leave those babies right there for at least three to five hours, turn it off, and I'll cook it again for the same amount of time. Refrigerate it, of course, overnight, so all the flavors mingle and comes together, and it's really, really delicious dish very hearty but it's no carbs we'll get you guess from the cabbages sauerkraut and fresh cabbage uh, possibly will run you to the bathroom cleans you it's Nepal Polish colonics diet right there my friends you know what I mean? it's really good very delicious you serve with some uh, grilled or uh, Bowl, kielbasa on the top of it, a little bit horseradish or some spicy mustard, some uh, rye bread or some other kind of uh, type of bread you like. Very, very good. All right, it's getting hot under this babushka, my friends. Again, dziękuję wszystkim rodakom za to, że mnie oglądacie. Oglądajcie mi je. Szalony, Mad Max, chef, metalowy z rock and rollem. Metal Chef Melbex, I love you people, keep on watching me and dziękuję wszystkim rodakom. Rock and roll forever and booyah and shake this shit babushka style!